Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Ryan Fagan. If you don't know me, I'm a real estate broker and real estate investor. And today I want to talk about how veterans are getting screwed over in this current real estate market. And as a veteran, it's definitely pissing me off. Let's get into it. Let me first talk about the background of the VA loan and what it is. Basically, the VA loan is a loan only for veterans. And it came about in 1944. That's actually during World War II, but basically it was for all the veterans coming back from World War II, and it gave them a jumpstart into housing and the American dream. They were able to come back and buy homes with um, very preferential loan terms, and uh, it really boomed the economy. You know, everyone was coming back from World War II and they expanded to the suburbs and veterans were able to live the American dream and get the uh, house with the white picket fence and all that stuff. Today, the VA loan is basically a 0% down loan, which makes it very easy to use. And it also, also has very low loan cost. There's no PMI, there's only a VA funding fee, which is a lot less uh, for any other loan that is a low down payment loan. Essentially, it's the best loan product out there. A lot of times you're gonna to wanna to use your VA loan even over a conventional loan. There's very rare situations where you would not want to use the VA loan right now, especially with low interest rates. And honestly, the VA loan is probably one of the best benefits next to the GI Bill, which allows veterans to go to school and it pays for their housing and their schooling, which is another great benefit. Those two benefits for veterans uh, at least for me, are my favorite, and I think for most people, they are the biggest benefits for veterans. So now, what is the problem? What's going on? Up until recently, it's been pretty easy to get a VA loan accepted as long as you're somewhat competitive on price. There really wasn't a lot of competition or issues with getting your offer accepted. Now, if you fast forward to today, the market's way different. As you probably have heard, it's a very strong seller's market. I've never seen it like this. I have eight years of experience in real estate and I've never seen a market like this. Basically, if you have a VA loan, it's going to be next to impossible to get an offer accepted. And the reason why is because there are so many buyers out there and anyone with a conventional loan or obviously paying cash is going to be uh, preferred over the VA loan and definitely over FHA or USDA or other low down payment types of loans. And so it's making it so that you really can't even use your veteran benefit, which is extremely frustrating for me as a veteran. And I think it's really messed up. Okay, so why exactly is this happening? I think there's a few reasons. Number one, the market is nuts, right? So there are multiple offers on most properties. Everyone's having to bid above the list price. That's no surprise right now. It is very, very competitive and it's just tough as any buyer. The issue comes in is that conventional loans are viewed as superior to VA loans, which I disagree with most of the time, but let's get into some of the reasons why people think that, you know, if you offer the same amount a conventional loan versus a VA loan, they're gonna take the conventional loan. So there's two main issues with the VA loan compared to a conventional loan. The biggest issue is the special VA appraisal. So you need a certified VA appraiser to go out and actually do the appraisal. That leads to a couple issues. There's less of them, they take longer. Um, so that's always been a complaint is that VA appraisals take longer. That's not always true, but that is in realtor world or seller world, that's something that people believe. Um, I would say that's probably slightly true, but is it really a big deal? Secondly, the VA appraiser could require repairs. Some of the common things might be chipped paint or cracked sidewalks or issues like that. They can be minor, but then now it adds more complexity to a sale because now you've gotten the appraisal done and to be able to close with this VA buyer, someone's going to have to pay for these repairs to get done. And if you go on a conventional loan, very likely this is not going to be the case. So checkbox for the conventional loan. Secondly, and the one I have the biggest beef with is the 
zero down payment aspect of the VA loan. That's the whole point of the VA loan is to keep the money in your pocket and be able to buy without a lot of money down. That doesn't mean you don't have the money, which is something that we need to educate sellers on, is that the whole benefit for veterans is they don't have to put this money out of their pocket, especially in today's market where interest rates are 3%, maybe 2.75. Why wouldn't you want to borrow the most amount and not put money down? This way you can do upgrades on the house or do whatever you want with the money. It's just better to have it, especially in these uncertain times. But unfortunately, sellers think that a bigger down payment means that the buyer is more serious. They're a stronger buyer. It's more likely to close because, you know, if you haven't bought a house before or sold a house, part of the deal is it takes a long time to do everything to get the house to close, right? So the buyer has to, you know, get their loan done, get appraisals done, inspections, et cetera. So when a seller is looking at offers, they also care about the likelihood that the buyer is going to actually be able to buy the house at the end. So you want to, you know, conventionally they would believe that having more money means that you're more likely to be able to close. This I think is a big problem. And I think realtors really need to educate their sellers about this is that the whole benefit of the VA loan is at 0% down and, you know, keeping money in your pocket. If you watched any of my other content is big for me, you can use that money. You could buy stocks with the money that you could have used the down payment for, which you'd be way up now. So there's a lot of reasons why a veteran even if they have money, want to keep money in their pocket. Now, I will say as a little bit of an advice for a buyer, it might make sense or a buyer's agents, it might make sense to, if your buyer, your VA buyer, if they have a lot of cash, show a bank statement, send them a bank statement showing, hey, we have this money, but we prefer to use a 0% down payment VA loan that this veteran earned through blood, sweat, and tears of serving the country, and they just want to take advantage of their loan. That's how I pitch most of my VA offers right now. So those are the two biggest reasons why the conventional loan is perceived by some to be better or superior to the VA loan, which again, I kind of disagree with. Now, how do I know this is happening? First, there's anecdotal evidence. I work with a lot of VA buyers and just for example, I had a guy about six months ago, we actually finally got him closed. I think we submitted literally eight offers on different houses before we got one accepted. And we always got beat out by a conventional or a cash buyer. Cash buyer kind of just understand. And that's just one example. I have other VA buyers who basically have the same problem. We're putting in offers and they're just not getting accepted. We're getting beat out by conventional offers. I would love to see some kind of organization do some research into this as far as VA buyers and the likelihood of their offers being accepted in this crazy real estate market. I have seen some news articles talking about this, but I haven't seen much data yet, but uh, I know it's happening because I'm talking to everyone else and Right now, they're saying if you're on a VA loan, you have a very low chance of getting your offer accepted, and it's really frustrating, and it's, something really needs to be done about this. So my personal opinion about this is that it's really messed up. You know, as a veteran, you know, people have worked hard. They've sacrificed to be a veteran and to serve in the military. And this is one of the biggest benefits aside from the GI Bill, which helps pay for school. Um, this is one of the cornerstone benefits of being a veteran and veterans are getting left behind because they can't even take advantage of the benefit that they earned. And I have a huge problem with this. Now, I don't know what the solution is. I don't think you should require people to accept VA loans, obviously, but something really needs to be done and there needs to be more research in it because veterans are basically getting screwed. I think the other solution is, and hopefully this gets more media attention, that's why I'm doing this video, but one thing I do think would help is that if realtors would educate their sellers on the pros and cons of the veteran, the VA loan versus a conventional loan, I think they're over-dramatizing the 0% down payment and the appraisal issue. Um, they're really not a big deal. You know, when I, when I advise sellers, I don't... Um, 
tell them that the VA loan is, is not as good as a conventional loan. I do point out that, you know, the couple issues that I talked about, but I mean, they're qualified for, for the 0% down. So I don't think that should be such of an issue. Now, if you're against a cash buyer, totally understand. But just because someone has 20% down on a conventional loan doesn't mean that they're a better borrower than the VA guy who's putting 0% down. I just don't agree with that. And I think agents, if they're telling their clients this, they need to stop. And that's all I got, guys. Hopefully this situation changes or this video helps shine light on to this issue. Obviously, if the market gets less competitive, it won't be an issue anymore, but it's really frustrating for my VA clients, and I, I think there's just something morally wrong about this. If you are a veteran and you've been trying to buy a house right now, I would love to hear your story. Put it in the comments, or you can contact me directly if you have questions or need help uh, on any real estate matter. Uh, feel free to reach out. My contact information is in the description box. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one.